Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today we've got an update for you guys. So it's a little update from mods that we've done in the past. Uh, previously, uh, if you guys have been followers of the channel for a while, we worked on the uh, M40, M540 upgrade. So the big brakes, the G30 brakes. And today what we're gonna do is we're actually swapping out the pads. So if any of you guys know, uh, basically the stock pads that come on the G30 brakes are known to put off insane amount, uh, insane amount of brake dust. So I'll flip the camera around and show you guys what I'm talking about here in just a moment. But what we're gonna do today is we're swapping out those pads. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and add the stainless steel brake lines to the front. And then I've actually need to go ahead and put pads in the rear as well too. Uh, so yeah, we're taking a small break right now from uh, getting some of the interior mods updated, doing the retrofits. So I still have some of that stuff coming. Uh, but right now I'm gonna turn the camera around, show you guys what I'm working, working with right now. But uh, before I do that, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. We want to get a lot of likes on this video. Uh, I need to see subscriber content going up. I want to keep trying to share this information with you guys. So if you guys like what you see, drop some comments. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. But we're going to go ahead and turn the camera around and we'll get started. Okay, so as you guys can see here, man, uh, what's crazy is if you look at these, these brakes and the wheels, uh, the amount of brake dust that's come off of these wheels like this is literally uh, less than 100 miles on this on this car like probably more like 60. Uh, it just puts off an insane amount of brake dust. If you compare what the fronts actually look like compared to the brake dust that comes off of the rear, like these actually still look like they're pretty clean. <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the car in the air and see if we can't get this rectified on swapping out these pads. So what you'll see here is I've already done the other side. So I wanted to kind of have a little bit of a, a go These by. are the stock pads that come on the G30. Uh, they are really large, and if you guys can remember from my uh, previous videos, um, I actually went with the wrong rotor. It, uh, the rotor has a, a larger top hat, and in doing so, I had to actually trim these pads out, down some. So uh, when I started having issues with all this brake dust, I reached out to the gentleman. I think it's over YS Garage. They're the guys that actually have some more of the uh, content on these G30 upgrades. And what they actually informed me is I can actually use the 348 millimeter pads that come on the G30 calipers as well too. Uh, and what I actually have to do is just actually uh, slot these sections here. Hopefully that'll kind of clean up there. So yeah, so I've actually gone in here with some drill bits and actually slotted out this section. And what that actually now does is allows that the, uh, the brake caliper pin to slide in here and keep these in place. So that's all that's necessary to be able to use whatever pads you want to uh, so as far as like the 348s. So that's what I've done now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this wheel popped off and then we will work on uh, taking uh, off the old brake line, uh, the old rubber brake line and installing uh, our new uh, stainless steel. So that's a look at the stainless steel line. I actually went with the, um, let's see if I get this turned around. I went the with the Stop Tech stainless steel brake lines for the front and I'll go ahead and throw the, uh, the actual part number, which looks like it's right there for us. Uh, that's the, uh, the part number for that stainless steel brake line kit for the, uh, for the front. I did not get the, uh, the, the kit for the rear. I may do that in the future, if I, uh, look, especially if I look at doing any other brake upgrades in the rear. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this knocked out. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and bring you guys in real quick. And as you guys, I don't know if I, I'm gonna show it on camera or not, but yeah, I dropped my cal caliper, which I'm not exactly happy about, but I just dinged it a little bit, so I think I'm okay. So what we have here is I've actually went ahead and, and started trying to unravel our, uh, our pad sensor here, which actually just goes up here into this connection box. So we're gonna get disconnect that, get the new sensor in, uh, as well as this here, of course, is my brake line. So this is that old rubber line, actually comes right up here to this, this uh, connection spot here. So what I'm gonna do is grab my, I believe a 10 millimeter, gonna get that broken loose, get this wire disconnected, go ahead and add the other new line. Um, it seems like to, from the installation on the other side, it seems like it's gonna be easier to actually add the line to the caliper first, and then we'll go ahead and, uh, and connect it here. Uh, so I'm gonna get started on that now. I'll see if I'll put you guys back on a time lapse so you don't have to watch me do that in slow mo.
Okay, so of course that was pretty easy, just swapping over uh, the new cable. Uh, that, again, that brake sensor cable, no big deal there. Uh, now I have this line ready to go in for my new stainless steel line, but I just thought about it. before I do that, I need to clean up this caliper some. So I'm gonna do that off screen real quick. Just grab a rag, see if I can't get a lot of this brake dust off. Again, just from just from these old pads, man. It just it has it looking horrible. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up real quick, and then we'll be back. As you guys can see, we're onto the rear wheels. Uh, it's been a little bit of a time jump. Uh, we've actually got our stock wheels back on. Uh, we've actually finished our dyno day. I just never got around to actually swapping out the rear pads because I actually, after a little bit of an inspection, there was, there was quite a bit of life left on them, but I've got some really good rear pads that actually are gonna go good with the fronts, so we're gonna go ahead and swap them out. So I'm gonna get, just run through how we're gonna do this pretty quickly. So. Um, as you guys see too, I actually need to repaint these calipers uh, so they're a little bit darker with the, uh, the new M-Sport um, calipers up front. Uh, but first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to remove um, the, the, the main portion of the caliper here. Uh, by doing, doing so, we're actually going to, I mean, to do so, we're going to have to remove these two bolts, which I believe are about a 13 millimeter. So we're going to get those knocked off. Once we do, that'll give us access to our electric uh, brake motor. Uh, we're going to have to use, a, I believe, a T30 to remove the, um, the electric brake, uh, this, this motor, and then we're going to have to wind that piston back in. Uh, so we're going to get started on that real quick. I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse. Okay, so as you guys can see, we've got the bolts released. Uh, we were able to use a 13 millimeter uh, wrench for that, as well as a 15 to hold the, uh, the pin uh, in, in place. So I went ahead and grabbed a bungee cord, got that tied up just so that we don't put too much tension on it. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and use our Torx as a T30 to break loose uh, the bolts that we need uh, to get that, uh, that motor removed. So we're gonna do that now. Okay. So with those two bolts removed, uh, we should be able to reach in here and kind of twist and pull. Ah, there we go. And we have our electric uh, motor removed. As you guys can see the, the little um, driver on here. We're gonna set this to the side and that allows us access to, uh, that allows us access to the side that we need to actually use. Our it's actually a T45, we're gonna get in there and we're gonna turn this clockwise. Uh, and we're going to just keep turning it until it actually bottoms out. Uh, so this should take you just a few seconds. And then once this is complete, you should be able to use just a regular seat clamp or whatever. Yep, there it is. That's all that's necessary. Now I'm going to get my normal seat clamp on here to depress this piston back. Now in. that we have this bottomed back out, I'm going to go ahead and put my motor back in place. So we're going to actually slide that back where it was originally mounted just like that, and we're gonna grab our, our bolts, and we're gonna slide those back into place and, and see if we can't tighten them down. Uh, it's a little difficult to do here just because of the lip on this motor. Uh, we, it's kind of difficult to get your, your, uh, your Torx bit around, at least it is for the ones that I have. Uh, it's best if you have uh, kind of the longer Torx bit, um, and I'll see, see what I can say here in a minute. And I'm just re basically referring to this bit here. If it was a little bit longer, it'd be a lot easier to get around uh, this motor, but uh, we, we make it work. There we go. So we got that one started. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, other side knocked out real quick, get it tight, and then I will be back with you guys here shortly. Okay, so I forgot to put my bracket on. So I've actually got, I had to slow down, back up, put that back on. Now that's on and in place. Now we're actually just going to go ahead and uh, use our C-clamp, which I have one of just the older style C-clamp here. I'm just gonna throw this in here in the caliper. 
Uh, I'll probably just grab one of these pads, just give me some little extra room uh, to help depress that back into place. And then we'll be good to go ahead and just swap out as normal. So uh, it's not difficult to do brakes. Uh, this is just a little bit of a, a, a different thing I haven't seen before or I haven't had to deal with before with uh, being new to BMWs. So uh, that's all that's necessary for that. Um, I won't bore you guys with the rest of this brake, uh, brake replacement, but I will show you guys the finished product here in just a moment. So that's it. Uh, basically just a normal uh, brake pad job. The only uh, caveat is just uh, trying to uh, screw back in the electric motor or that electric component there for the electric brake. So uh, other than that, if you've ever done a brake job, you're not gonna be uh, stumped on this one. Uh, we're just gonna get this wheel back on. The, uh, the only difference on the passenger side is that we do have to go ahead and install our brake, um, brake wear sensor. So we've got that one, that one we picked up uh, from FCP Euro as well. Uh, we're just gonna get that, uh, you know, just basically trace this cable back to the little box that uh, there'll be a box, it looks similar to this here, that will ha uh, house our uh, brake wear sensor connection. Connect that and you are good to go. So uh, again, won't um, trouble you guys or won't keep you guys with any more of this uh, brake install. I will tell you that the rear brake pads have been functioning perfectly. Uh, actually, they, uh, they have a lot more bite to them now, especially with the stainless steel uh, brake line uh, addition. So uh, my, per my pedal feels really, really great as I'm braking. So uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying these new pads. Uh, we're going to go, like I said, finish up the swap here, and then we'll be on to more mods for you guys. Again, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, but this video is done. You guys be safe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.